Good evening. <laughs> you might need to turn that down just a bit. <laughs> I'm putting my school voice on for you. So, good evening. My name is Jennifer Garrett, and I'm the KCS Virtual School Principal. I would like to extend my warmest welcome to all of you, and thank you for being here at this graduation ceremony. Today, we are celebrating 49 special young people from KCS Virtual who stayed the course and achieved the dream of earning a high school diploma. We commend these students for persevering and succeeding to achieve this goal. To the families and supporters here tonight, we thank you for your continuing this journey with these students and being here to recognize them and to celebrate them. I would like to extend my warmest welcome to several special guests that we have with us. First, I would like to welcome Dr. John Ryswick, who is the superintendent of Knox County Schools. Please join me in giving him a warm welcome. I would also like to recognize Jennifer Owens. She is our board member, and we really appreciate her being here tonight and helping to celebrate our students. I would also like to extend my welcome to um, the Director of Community Engagement for Mayor Jacobs' office, Jane Jolly. Thank you guests for joining us and being here on this special occasion. Graduation is a very special occasion and we ask that out of respect for this special occasion that you mute all cell phones refrain from using air horns or other loud noise devices. We want everyone to enjoy this evening and hear the names of all of our students when they are called. Without further ado, will you please rise? We welcome the graduating class of 2023. remain standing. Um, we would like to invite Jennifer Ribble, graduate of the class of 2023, to sing the national anthem. She's being accompanied by her mom, Professor Rachel Acuff.
Thank you, Jennifer and Professor Acuff. You may be seated. This year, I have had the distinct honor of serving as the principal of all three of our Knox County virtual schools. People ask me all the time if I miss being so close to students. The reality is, in many ways, I am closer to my students and families than I have ever been. This partnership has allowed me to hear from students and families about what you need and what you want me to build for your child. You see, students aren't receiving a lesser education just being virtual. I would hands down say that our students are even more ready to take on the world because they have been exposed to a world of which mirrors so much of our global society and they are ready for the workforce. The education system is hundreds of years old and can be slow to change. And for those of you that know me, I'm the farthest from slow. <laughs> and I know that change is a necessary requirement, and especially for our students here today. So I hope that people keep asking me if I like virtual school, because I'm going to tell them, no, I don't. I love it. I love that we can be different and that we can give our students the way they need to learn and that they deserve to learn. Thank you, students and families, for allowing me to serve you. It is truly a great honor. At this time, I would like to welcome to the stage our assistant principal, Mr. Chris Layton. Good evening. Today, as we celebrate this graduation, let us express gratitude to our teachers, parents, and all those who have supported you all on this incredible journey. So graduates, or soon to be graduates, take a moment, find those people in the audience right now, and just make sure you say thank you. You can turn around and you can say thanks, it's okay. And a lot of them are up here too, so let's not forget these amazing teachers. And thank you. These people who are here to watch you tonight have laid the foundation upon which you can build your dreams. As we step into the world beyond high school, let us carry the lessons we have learned, the friendships we have forged, and the belief that education is a lifelong pursuit. Education is the key that unlocks doors of opportunities and empowers individuals to shape their destinies. It is a journey of growth, discovery, and enlightenment. Let us remember that the true measure of education lies not only in the knowledge we acquire, but also in the impact we make in the lives of others. The skills we develop, the values we uphold, and the compassion we show or what will truly define us as educated individuals. Was that good? Did you guys agree with those words? I hope so. Take it to heart in knowing I didn't write any of those words. I, like many of you, I would imagine, use tools at my disposal, including artificial intelligence, through chat GPT to start this speech. <laughs> While the words were well organized, grammatically correct, and gave a presentation that is on par with the graduation speech, it fell short. Why did it fall short? Because you need authenticity. You deserve a genuine speech for your accomplishments and not one that AI can generate. I tell you this for a few reasons. First, your future will have many challenges that no one in this audience can foresee. Your future will have tools like artificial intelligence that can check many, many tasks for you. But understand this, those tasks do not define you. First, or I'm sorry, take this moment to understand your thoughts, your ideas, your analysis, your feedback, and your voice 
is what this world needs. The tools of the future are powerful. And in the words from Peter Parker's uncle from the Spider-Man series, with great power comes great responsibility. You will have a very different future and path than those that came before you. You will have opportunities to grow and your world will be much different than the world we have known. Yes, the tools will be different. The skills you learn to get here today in some cases will become obsolete. Artificial intelligence will improve. It will become more common in our lives and it will constantly work to advance. You can find ways to use this as a tool. You can also find ways to help and assist you. And it will provide great benefits to your world. But don't forget, the world needs you. Second, and to be honest, more importantly, to understand this above all else. While technology will advance, tools like artificial intelligence will become more common and streamlined, and options of learning online will become more common. You need to understand more than anything, this world needs you. We can live without these technological advancements. We can function without advancing tools, but we have to have you. At this stage, you may not know what purpose you'll live or you'll have in this world, but rest assured, rest assured the world needs you and it needs the light you bring. The world doesn't need artificial intelligence. The world doesn't need advanced technology. We need you to fix the problems. We need you to change the world. From this day forward, go out in the world and be a light that the world needs you to be. Go forth and take your skills and learn how to enhance those skills to serve humanity. From here on in your life, I understand that learning is an opportunity to grow. It's not a box to check. It's not a thing you have to do. Go learn because you want to gain skills and you want to be able to help. The world will have tools and technology that will continue to advance. But right now, our world needs you to be who you are and share that with the world. We need you to step off this stage and go forth into that world and be a light a positive force in our society, and a reliable partner in our world. In a few moments, you'll have that opportunity. And let me be one of the first to say, congratulations on all you have done to be here today. And best of luck in your future journey. We are proud of you, we believe in you, and we challenge you to be a light in our world to continue to help humanity. And next, I would like to introduce to the stage Mackenzie Scott, our salutatorian. Good evening, my name is Mackenzie Scott, and on behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to thank all of the teachers, staff, parents, and relatives that have gathered here today to celebrate the graduates. Today is a bittersweet day for myself and my peers. As we look forward to continuing our academic journey and careers, we reflect on how far we have come and all that we have accomplished. Our time throughout elementary, middle, and high school has shaped us into the scholars and adults that we are today. We have spent the past 13 years of our lives in school, and those memories are something that we'll forever carry with us. From learning the ABCs in elementary school, to adapting to change in middle school, to preparing for adulthood in high school, we have been through ups and downs, and now we have finally reached the finish line. While we may not have had the normal high school experience, since participating in online school, I would argue that we had a more fulfilling one. Online school has been an, an amazing opportunity that has altered our perspective on education and has provided us with more freedom to build our social and personal lives. 
While the change that is currently going on in all our lives is difficult to face, it is also a reminder of the exciting new opportunities that lie ahead. Whether that's attending your dream school or entering a job career, our time in high school has prepared us for more than we can imagine. Not only have we excelled academically, but we have blossomed in our abilities to communicate with our peers and other authority figures. Furthermore, many of us have jobs or participate in extracurricular activities that have taught us new skills. All of these contribute not only to the people that we are today, but to the people that we will become. It's not easy to get to this point in our lives, and while we may have wanted to, we never gave up. We put hard work, dedication, passion, and time into our academic journeys, and those traits will be what carry us into our next journey. To all of my peers sitting before me today, we have grown immensely as individuals, and we still have so much more to accomplish. So congratulations to the class of 2023. Next, I would like to ask to come to the stage, Ms. Leah Wilson, our valedictorian. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, officials, and fellow graduates. My name is Leah Wilson, and I am grateful to be standing here as your class of 2023 valedictorian. I would like to begin by thanking everyone here today that came to celebrate the KCS Virtual High School's Class of 2023. I can guarantee that every graduate here today, including myself, is grateful for the support and love everyone is showing today by attending. To my fellow graduates, congratulations. Today marks the beginning of a new story. As kids, this day seemed so distant. We were focused on making friends, learning our ABCs, and figuring out how to tie our shoelaces. But now, We've made it to this momentous occasion, and it's time to reflect on our unique journey as high school students. Our high school experience was different from the traditional one. Our freshman year was atypical. It started as an average year, but then COVID stopped everything. Our sophomore year was full of challenges. Some of us navigated the world of online learning, adapting to an ever-changing technological landscape. But then some of us went back into school into a whole different environment but yet we persevered. We were resilient, determined, innovative, all in our pursuit of knowledge. As we entered our junior year, many of us chose to continue our education at KCS Virtual High. Most of us had already spent our sophomore year working through the kinks and adapting to the virtual environment. By then, we had become pros at online learning and recognized the unique opportunities that virtual school could offer. We knew that KCS Virtual High would provide us with the resources and support to excel and make the most of our high school experience. Our decision to stay is a testament to our adaptability, commitment to our education, and confidence in choosing the path that is best suited for each of us. As we move forward, let's carry the spirit of determination and self-assurance into our future endeavors. But our time as virtual students wasn't just about conquering technical difficulties. It was also about the growth we experienced, the relationships we formed, and the memories we created. Our virtual classrooms gave us a unique sense of community as we connected with classmates from different backgrounds and locations. We learned from one another, we shared our ideas, and we broadened our horizons. As we reflect on our high school years, it's important to remember the late night study sessions, the laughter during breaks, and the friendships forged in digital hallways. These experiences have shaped us into the individuals who will take on the world. One of the most important skills we learned is self-advocacy. Unlike the traditional classroom setting, we were not physically present with our teachers and counselors. This pushed us to reach out for help when needed and taught us the importance of effective communication. Learning to advocate for ourselves has not only made us stronger students, but also prepared us for the challenges we will face in colleges and beyond. As we venture into new environments, whether higher education or the workforce, we'll find ourselves in situations where we must speak up, ask for assistance, and take charge of our own well-being. Our experience as virtual students has given us the confidence and determination to overcome obstacles and succeed in any dream we want. Another valuable lesson we've learned is the importance of finding our people outside of the school environment. 
For me, it was my friends and teachers at dance who su provided support, encouragement, and friendship. For others, it might have been a sports team, a community organization, or even an online community. Regardless of where we found them, these connections taught us that our support networks extend beyond the classroom walls. Our relationships with family, friends, coworkers, and mentors are invaluable. They give us the strength to face life's challenges and the motivation to keep moving forward. As we continue our journey, remember to cherish these connections and never underestimate the power of having people in our corner. So as we embark on our next chapter, let us carry the lessons we've learned as virtual students. Let us advocate for ourselves, forge meaningful connections, and continue to grow both personally and professionally. These experiences have prepared us to face the world with resilience, determination, and hope for a brighter future. Looking ahead, we have a future filled with endless possibilities. We are the pioneers of a new era where technology and innovation will continue to play an integral role in our lives. So class of 2023, let us embrace the opportunities that lie ahead. Let us dare to dream big, to challenge the status quo, and to create a better future for ourselves and others. Let us be the change we wish to see in the world. Thank you once again to our friends, family, and faculty for your unwavering support. To my fellow graduates, I'm incredibly proud of each and every one of you. This is a huge accomplishment. I cannot wait to see the incredible things we will accomplish. Congratulations, and here is to a bright future. Thank you. Thank you, Mackenzie and Leah. Those were excellent speeches. I would like to now present some special recognitions. I will begin by recognizing our Teacher of the Year, Ms. Emily Williams. Ms. Williams, will you please make your way up? Let's see this side. She's, oh, there she is. <laughs> I would like to share a bit about our amazing and talented educator. Ms. Williams was voted by her peers for this very special recognition, and she had the honor of leading our students in the procession this evening. Ms. Williams is one of our English teachers at KCS Virtual High School. If you've ever had her as a teacher or ever heard her in the background as a teacher, you know she has a very strong enthusiasm, and it's contagious. One of Ms. Williams' peers shared, Ms. Williams' heartfelt dedication and time she puts into each student makes every student feel seen and heard, and she works to meet them at their level and grow them. Another peer shared that Ms. Williams is a great teacher who genuinely loves and cares about her students. She is always so positive, polite, and just a joy to be around. She always makes time for her students and goes above and beyond. Ms. Williams, we appreciate your service and your love for our school and students. Please help me give a warm round of applause for our fantastic Teacher of the Year, Ms. Williams. Thank you, and thank you, Ms. Williams, for all you do. The graduating class of 2023 is the second graduating class for KCS Virtual High School. If you can tell by now, these are some very talented and amazing students sitting in front of you today. This graduating class combined has received scholarships and financial awards totaling $1,978,784. There are also several graduates that have achieved special accolades, and I'd like to take a moment to recognize them. When I call you guys, I want you to stand up and make sure you turn around. I'm going to begin by recognizing our top 10% in our graduating class. Cassidy Hodges. Tiger Jones. James Landon. Angel Ledbetter, Jennifer Ribble, 
Brianna Robinson. Mackenzie Scott. Michaela Wallace. And Leah Wilson. Please give these guys one more round of applause. You may be seated. Thank you and congratulations to our top 10%. I would like to now recognize this evening's students who are graduating with honors. Will the following students please stand? Tiger Jones. James Landon. Leah Wilson. Please join me in giving him one more round of applause. You may be seated. Thank you and congratulations. Lastly, I would like to recognize two special students who are graduating with distinction and honor of being our top two students in our class. Will Mackenzie Scott please rise? Mackenzie Scott is our 2023 salutatorian and graduating with distinction. Please give her a round of applause. <laughs> Leah Wilson, will you please stand? <laughs> Leah is our 2023 valedict Victorian and graduating with distinction. Please give her a very warm, warm, warm round of applause. Thank you. You may be seated. Again, congratulations to all of our graduates on your hard work and dedication. We are proud of all of you. We've now come to the part of the ceremony you have been waiting for, and no, it's not the exit out. It is time for us to now present diplomas to our students. Dr. Heather Green, our ELA teacher at KCS Virtual High School, will be presenting candidates for diplomas. When we have them come across the stage, we'll have them come across one at a time, and I'll stop for a minute. So parents, if you need to get a picture, we want you to be able to get a picture. We also have the fantastic Dr. Cope, who will be taking pictures here, and we will make those available to you as well. So. First row, please rise. Leah Catrice Wilson, valedictorian, top 10%, graduating with honors and distinction. Mackenzie Heather Scott, salutatorian, top 10%, graduating with distinction. Jennifer Marie Ribble, top 10%. Miguel Xavier Cooper.
Madeline Crandall. LeBron Jaden Davis. Madison Lynn Finney. Rachel Ashley Fuel. Yamari Anais Gonzalez. Ivan Lexi Herrera Zolotariova. Cassidy Isabella Hodges, top 10%. Hold up, Marie. Zachary Brian Holt. Molly Elizabeth Howard. Destiny LaJoyce Howell. Heaven Leanna Hudson. Landon Thomas James. Tiger Luke Jones, top 10% graduating with honors. James Robert Landon Jr. Top 10% graduating with honors. Angel Marie Ledbetter, top 10%. Ellie Blue Maples. James Frank Mace. <laughs> Jasmine Elise Nicole McKissick. Harmony Nevaeh Sanders. Kelty Danielle Mishlik.
Leticia Morales Estrada. Caitlin Myers. Kaylee Lee Norris. Jacob Poindexter. Elias Pursuto. <laughs> Caleb Ryan Roberts. Brianna Jordan Robinson, top 10%. Mitchell Sardonia. Joshua Jason Silvera. Michaela Nicole Wallace, top 10%. Phaedra Wilma Marie Whitfield. Give her a chance to get down. Graduates, each of you received a rose as you exited the stage moments ago. This white rose is very special and important. You see, someone who was once my mentor told me that it is always important to honor those who stand beside you in the good and in the hard times. A white rose is often used to symbolize loyalty and purity. There's probably someone here tonight that stood beside you. They have been loyal and pure in their love for you. When this ceremony concludes, I want you to find that person and I want you to give them that rose. Thank them for the love and the loyalty that they gave you. They too deserve to be honored and recognized as they cheered you on tonight and every night to get here. In closing, I want to thank you for coming and celebrating this graduating class with us today. I told you they were special, and when you look at them, they're amazing. We are very proud of them, and we look forward to the great things they will achieve in the future. Your support and love has made all the difference in the world. At the close of this ceremony, our staff and special guests will exit, and we will conclude out to the cafeteria area. Students will be dismissed, and they will be able to go out there and get their official diplomas that go inside. Uh, families, we want you to join them. Take that moment to get some pictures. Without further ado, though, will the graduating class make sure you are all facing out? This is a very important time, because it's time for us to get ready for the tassel turning portion of our ceremony. Turning your tassel signifies the transition from high school on to the next stage in your life or education. While the act of turning a tassel seems so small, it is 13 years of dedication and work. 
I hope you will always go forward and rise to the occasion and look for the next page you can turn in your life. Superintendent, it is my great honor to certify that the graduates standing here before you have completed all the requirements as set forth by the great state of Tennessee and Knox County Schools and should have diplomas conferred upon them. To signify this, class of 2023, please turn your tassels. They've got one more thing they got to do. So class of 2023, there is one more tradition you have to hold to. It is time for you to toss your caps. You may toss them. <laughs> Families, thank you so much. So much for being here tonight and celebrating. We really appreciate it and we please hope that you travel safely home and that you make sure to share with your friends what a great school we have. We know there are more students just like this that are looking for us just like we're looking for them. Thank you so much. We'll let our guests go ahead and exit and we'll have our stage and then graduates if you will watch Ms. Dr. Hess she will exit. Thank you everyone for being here and thank you for all you did to help our students.